Hey, beautiful people. All right, we are going to get it in today. I'm super excited because today it's all about the core. We are gonna work our lower abs. We're gonna work our upper abs, mid abs, obliques, back, the whole nine. So today, what you're gonna need is a weight of your choice. It does not have to be a kettlebell, but any weights would work for today's workout. If you don't wanna add resistance, you do not have to. And then also make sure you have your water nearby. Okay, so before we get into it, let's do a little stretch before we go in, all right? So we're gonna twist the body to the side, look behind you, get that deep stretch, and switch to the other side. We are gonna stay on the floor today. We're not gonna come up, so grab a mat. Um, a thicker mat is going to be preferred based on your flooring. If this is still uncomfortable, you are able to do this in your bed, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set our timer. And we are gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we're actually going to stay in this position. So we're gonna stay facing forward. The feet are gonna be together and bent. And so we're gonna bring our upper body back and we're going to hold it here for 10 seconds, okay? Keeping the heels on the ground. So we're gonna bring our hands out to extend the love to me and I extend the love to you. And we're gonna bring our upper body back. You should engage that core and hold it, all right? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I feel that. We're gonna do it again, all right, in three, Two and one, bring it back. Rest right here. This is our comfort zone. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Rest it, rest it. How are we doing? I hope we're doing all right. It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta for me. Um, I hope it's just as gorgeous for you. Um, I thought about doing an outdoor workout today, but I said, I'll hold off. I'll give that to you a little later. All right, so we're gonna hold it again in three, two, and one. Bring it down. Make sure you're breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. It's gonna be our last set. I want you to go a little bit deeper. So I want you to go a little bit further back than you did on the last set, okay? I'm gonna scoot myself up just a little bit. Ready? Three, two, one. Take it down. Eight, seven, six. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I feel that. I hope you do too. All right? So, grab your weight. If you have your weight, again, it's not necessary. But if you do have it, we will go ahead and use it, okay? So you're gonna bring that in front of your body, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back into that leaned position. So your back is going to be like such. From here, you're gonna lift, lower. Lift, lower. But that upper body stays where it is. So you're not here, you're back. And you wanna extend as far as you can not to lock the elbows, okay? So we're gonna do it, we're gonna have 10 sets, okay? 10 reps, excuse me. Bring it back, ready, bring it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, very nice. You may feel some movement here in the lower back and also kind of in the side area. That is okay, that's what we want. So anywhere from, really from right under the bust all the way until the knees is considered your core area. So any of those muscles that you work is going to help to build and strengthen your core. Okay, we're gonna go right back in, grab your weight, bring the upper body back, let's go, 10. Nine, eight, come on. Seven, six, five, come on. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Awesome, awesome job. 
We have two more sets, you can do it. Make sure you breathe, grab your water when you need it. When you're doing core work, you wanna be very careful with your water, not to drink too much so you don't have the water belly. You're like blah, 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 blah as you're moving around. So just a sip enough to kind of gain your liquid back in your system and then drop it down. And then once you complete your entire workout, then you go for all the water you want, okay? Ready? Three, two, take it back. 10, nine, make sure you're breathing. Eight, seven, come on, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. We have one more set because I know you want it and you can do it. We're gonna do 15 on this set, okay? Ready? Take it back. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, you can do it. We got 10 right here. Nine. Five, come on. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Awesome job, awesome, awesome. So bring that back up, straighten it up. We've done some good work, so we wanna make sure that we strengthen and elongate the back. Drop your weight, so we're gonna put that to the side for now. Gonna come back and face forward with you. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna lift our hips up off the ground, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna, uh, maybe I'll face this way. So, we're here. So what we're doing, our hands are placed behind us, so find a comfortable position. You don't have to lock your elbows, so a slight bend will work just fine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your hips up, and then you're gonna touch. Bring your hips up and touch, okay? So as you do it, you wanna keep your core tight, okay? So, ready? Bring it up in three, two, and one. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, come on, four, three, two, and one, bring it down. So as you do it, you're just having your bottom to touch the floor. It doesn't have, you don't have to sit and bring it back up, it's just a touch, right back up, touch, right back up, okay? We're gonna go right back in, in three, two, one, bring it up. Come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. You may feel your glutes burning. That is totally fine. You're doing just fine. All right, we have two more sets and I know you can do it. So take a break, breathe, grab water when you need it, just a sip, and then we're going right back in, all right? Three, two, and one, bring it up. Touch. Come on. Five, four, breathe. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Awesome job, you're doing so good. Last set, we got this. We're gonna hit 12, because I know you can do it, and I know you want it, all right? Ready? In three. Two, one, bring it up. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Awesome. Rest here for just a moment. I know your buns are burning as they should. So, we're going to set ourselves up on all fours. So make sure you are comfortable. Again, you can do this in the bed if it's easier for you, okay? You do have to be on your hands, so you won't be able to be on your elbows for this exercise. So from here, I want your hands and your shoulders to be in alignment, and I want that to be even. So I don't want you too far here, and I don't want you too far here. I want it right over top of your wrist, your shoulder right over top of the wrist. From here, you 
do have to come up on your feet. So again, make this as comfortable for you as possible. So you're going to be here. I want the legs open. I don't want your booty up. I don't want it down. I want it right in the center. So from here, you're going to step out, 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 out. Okay. So if at all, if at any point you start to get tired, Bring yourself down for a second, catch your breath, and then join me back, okay? So, you ready? Three, two, and one, out. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop it, bring it back, stretch out those glutes, stretch out the leg in the back, we're going to go right back in, ready, set it up, three, two, one, let's go, keep that booty down, do not hear, come on, down, come on, five, Four, three, two, last set, come on. Bring the booty back. Perfect. Go ahead and have a seat. We're gonna go back to finish the last two sets in just a moment. From here, We're doing awesome. So from here, I want you to use your upper body. So you are gonna lean back, but you're using your upper body to stabilize yourself. The lower body is gonna be doing all the work, okay? Excuse me, from here. So the McDonald's arch, we're gonna do that with our feet, okay? So you're gonna pretend like you have something on either side of your feet. So you have to lift your feet over in and out to be able to not knock down whatever is right here, your imaginary whatever, right? So pretend there's something on either side. So you're gonna bring your upper body back, keep your elbows bent. So you're gonna keep your upper body bent, keep your knees bent as well, and you're gonna open, close. Open, close, okay? We're gonna do that together. So let me show you what your, what your, uh, elbows are looking like while they're here, okay? So they're bent like such, all right? So as we do it together, let's go back a little. As we do it together, it looks here. Okay, that's where we're at. So we have 10. Each time we come back in, that counts as one, okay? So this is one, two, all right? We have 10 and you can do it, I promise. Take a break when you need it. Three, two, one, open. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, awesome. We're gonna go right back in, we have one more set, and then we're gonna go back into our plank position, okay? In three, two, one, let's go, open. Breathe. Yes, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, come on. Nine, 10. Perfect. Rest it here for one second. Get over into that plank position. Set yourself up. Remember, shoulder right over top that wrist, and we're just going to touch each side, okay? Set it up. Three, two, and one. Touch. Make sure you're breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Rest it back. Make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath. 
Even when it gets difficult, breathe. That's gonna help you get through the movement. All right, we have one more set, okay? So bring it back up into your plank position. Set it up. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep that booty down. Come on. Five. Three, two, and one. Bring it down. Awesome. Get back on your hind parts. We're setting it up again, okay? That McDonald's arch, we've got two more sets to complete that exercise. So, bend those elbows. Ready? Three, two, and one. Open. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Yes, bring it down, you're doing awesome. One more set to complete that exercise. We got it, y'all. Come on, we're almost there. Three, two, and one, open. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Very, very, very good. I'm so proud of you. Go ahead and lay down on your mat. All right, so from here, I want your hands to be right by your side. And what you're gonna do is make sure that you keep your core tight. So you're gonna bring your core, so you're gonna tilt your pelvis so that you're as close as your lower back can get to the floor, that's where you're starting. So not here, you're gonna rotate that pelvis up and then it's gonna bring your lower back towards the floor. Here, hands are by the side, feet are gonna come up about 90 degrees and what you're gonna do is actually roll up. So bringing the knees to the chest, come back. Up, down, so the hips come off the floor and then come back, all right? This is gonna target the lower abs, ready? Three, two, one, bring it up. Come on. Give me four more. Two, one. Rest, bring it down. Relax for a moment, we're gonna go right back in, okay? In three, two, and one, bring it up. Come on, bring it up. Let's go. Give me four, three, two, Rest it down. Come on, we got two more sets. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, I promise. Put the hands right by the side. Tilt the hips. Bring that lower back into the floor. Ready? Let's go. Bring it up. Come on. Squeeze it. Breathe. You're halfway there. Come on. Four. Three, two, one, bring the feet down. We're definitely gonna finish this set, okay? So, rest for a moment, breathe, grab your water, just light water while we're doing core. Tilt the hips, bring that lower body to the floor. Ready, bring the legs up, let's go. Make sure you're breathing. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Awesome, 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 awesome. Hands come under the leg, roll yourself up. Perfect. 
Let's see, where we at on our time? Ooh, we got a minute. So we're gonna do this until we stop, all right? So from here, what I want is I want your legs to be in and out. So we're doing bicycles, but you don't have to do it up in the air. You can lean back, okay? So I want your upper body back if you're gonna be holding on. If not, you can keep your arms up here. So keeping the arms off the floor is more advanced. Your legs are out, bring it in, okay? That's where we're at, all right? Until the timer goes off. You can do it. We got 30 seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Don't stop till that timer stops. Come on. Breathe. Come on. Bring those knees into the chest. Come on. You got it. It's gonna burn. Come on. Woo! Come on. We can do it. There it is. Bring it down. Awesome, awesome job. We made it. Yay. So proud of you. You did an amazing job. So make sure you stay hydrated. Get your water. Like I said, I'm super proud of you. Just keep pushing forward. And I know you're going to get to the place where you want to be as far as your results in your fitness journey. Like I told you, we talked about food. What has to happen at this point is you need to start increasing your food. There's a huge misconception about eating and losing weight and dieting and all these things. So very quickly, I'll let you know that if you wanna lose weight, if your goal is to lose weight, you have to eat more. The misconception is you eat less because you don't wanna gain the weight and all these things. The problem is that when you're not taking in enough nutrients, your body doesn't have anything to burn off. So what happens is it stores the fat in your body because it doesn't know the next time you're going to eat. So instead of not eating, try eating smaller meals throughout the day. That's gonna help you kind of prolong um, the amount of food that you get into your system. I do not count calories, um, I do not uh, really measure my food or anything of that sort. However, I lose inches. And that is because I really focus my attention on well-balanced meals. So what you need to focus on is going to be getting enough protein and vegetables and do not cut out the starch. Now, I would definitely cut down on fried food um, and anything super salty. However, you definitely can still eat potatoes, you can still eat rice, um, you can still eat pasta. You just need to limit and monitor how much you're having in a day and also in a week. So ideally, you would wanna be getting more protein in so that your body can actually use the protein that, that you're actually consuming. However, if you're not consuming enough food, there's nothing for your body to burn off when we do these workouts. I try to minimize and keep the workouts to 20 minutes for you to see you don't have to be in the gym for two hours to get results because a lot of people don't care to be in the gym for two hours or even work out for two hours. As long as you're getting a um, getting some movement in at least 20 minutes a day, you're good. So if we focus on our eating, I promise you'll start to see the difference. My advice, just like I told you in the beginning in my very, very first video that you guys watched, is that you need to take your measurements. When you take your measurements at the beginning of the month, you take them at the first of each month, and then you start to track your progress. You will start to see a difference in those numbers once you start to change your eating. Even if you're doing my workouts every single day and you're following it to a T and you're like, Ebony, I'm doing your workouts. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you're doing it, but you're not gonna see the results that you want until you change how you eat. If you're someone that likes to consume a lot of sugar, you will have to cut back on that in order to see the results that you want. Increasing water intake and decreasing sugar intake is really, really going to help. If you are someone that does like to indulge in alcohol, you will have to limit that. Um, I wouldn't say eliminate, but you definitely have to decrease the amount of alcohol that you have um, in a day or even in a week or a month 
to be able to get to the results that you want. Everything is about getting to the end result and the end goal. And unfortunately, the only way you can get there is if you make these changes with your food and your nutrition, okay? So again, the food is gonna be just as important, if not more important than the workouts that we do. And I love working out with you, I really enjoy it. However, in order for us to make this relationship work, you have to do well with your food. So if you have any questions, please post them in the forum. Um, that is where we stay in constant communication um, because that is what's going to help me understand what it is that I need to do for you and make sure that I am that, uh, basically that motivation that you need. That's what I'm here for. So thank you so much for an amazing workout. Again, I can't wait to see you beauties in the next one and y'all have a great day.